Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the brand new e.l.f. Cosmetics Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. Se ve así, and I'm super excited to be doing a full blown wear test and review porque this retails for $10, which honestly is an amazing deal. Entonces, we're gonna be putting this to the test to see who this is worth it for. So I do wanna read a little bit about this product. I actually purchased this one in particular on e.l.f.'s website, but they do have it in store at your local Ulta. Actually, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I purchased this at Ulta when I went in store, um, and they do have this in store now at Ulta, and I'm gonna look at Ulta's page right now so I can give you a little bit more information on this product. So this is a shockingly fine bi-face power grip dewy setting spray that features a water-based phase and moisturizing oil-based base. It's boosted with 5% aloe, which I love aloe because it's super soothing on my very sensitive rosacea skin. Um, it also does contain hyaluronic acid, squalene, and green tea seed oil. You're supposed to shake it to activate the power of both faces, dewy and long-lasting, for our makeup looks. So. We're gonna get right into this. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be using this as a primer and also as a setting spray. So I'm going to be doing it on one side of the face so that we can see how it compares without it on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this paper towel and we are just going to apply it on this side. So before we start, we're gonna go ahead and shake it just to activate the product. We're gonna remove the lid. And this is gonna serve as our primer. Actually, let me just, let me do it like that. Okay, so we're gonna spray. Wow, this is super, super fine. Like the mist is so fine on the skin. Immediately, you guys can see how it gives like a really pretty glowy effect. So this is the side where we didn't apply anything. And then this is the side where we apply the product definitely giving us that glow a lot of hydration right now and i'm going to kind of like fan it un poquito just so that it can kind of sink into the skin really well so this is going to give us a dewy look but also that long lasting effect for our makeup now i do want to point out i do naturally have oily skin so with these type of products i tend to tread lightly just because i don't necessarily always want a very dewy finish especially as we're moving into the summer where my skin tends to get very oily rapidito the dewiness is where i'm kind of like no sé just because i do have oily skin but that's why we're testing this out so i can let you guys know who this is for who this isn't for how it wears todo eso so now that we've given it a few moments to set into the skin I do wanna to touch it just to see how it feels. Okay, it does have that tacky feeling. It is definitely like a grippy feel. So I think that's good because that will allow the makeup to really grip and just lock into place. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to apply our base. And for base, I'm just gonna be using one that I've been enjoying, the A Cosmetics Natural Matte. This one, really love this stuff. And I'm gonna be using this to be the base for the day. I'm gonna apply this all over. Now I will say whenever I use products that are more full coverage or more on the matte side, I do love to use very hydrating prep products because I feel like it allows everything to just go onto the skin so much better and easier. So that's what we're gonna do, but look how pretty that looks. That looks really nice. And I will say, even though I do have oily skin, on my cheeks I tend to have some dryness just because of the rosacea. Things tend to get a little dry. So I do appreciate when I feel like my skin doesn't attach on to certain parts of the makeup and it just applies beautifully. And this is definitely looking really nice. So this is the side with the setting mist look at that it looks very very pretty um, I do want to point out I do have a review on the a cosmetics natural matte foundation if you want to watch that I will link it down below in the description box you guys can check that out Pero así se ve. okay so this is with the mist with no mist now we're gonna move on to this side to apply the makeup Okay, for some reason, now that I'm 
seeing the difference. I feel like this side applied easier. This side, I feel like I'm having to really press it into the skin without the mist. Do you see how like in some places I feel like it's kind of clinging onto certain textures of the skin as opposed to this, it just applied so seamlessly and I think it's that hyaluronic acid in there. That really good hydration that allows for the skin to latch onto really nicely the foundation. It doesn't look horrible, but I can tell the difference. I feel like this I just applied so seamlessly. Like I said earlier, even though I do have oily skin, I do like to use products like this because if it doesn't work out as a setting spray necessarily because it does have a dewy finish, I could always use this almost as a prep step because I do love hydrating products as preps like I previously mentioned. So yeah, I feel like this side, I'm having to really press it in for it to like really lock into place. I like how the side with the mist looks looks a lot better than the side with out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back so that we can spray this on this side of the face as our setting spray and begin this wear test because that's really gonna let us know if this is worth the $10. So keep watching, but I have to say I'm very impressed with how it looks on this side with the setting mist as a primer product. Hey bonitas, I am back. I finished my entire face of makeup. I will have all the details down below in my description box so you guys can check out los productos. But this is what the complexion looks like once everything is on and in place. This is the side where we went in with the mist. De este lado. And then this is the side without the mist. So I do have some thoughts. I feel like the side with the mist, everything looks a little bit smoother. Also, I did notice that I feel like on the side, and I mentioned this when I was applying foundation, I feel like on the side where we went in with no mist, I do feel like there's a little bit of some separation that happened here. I also do feel like the blush in this area right here is a little bit more sheared out. I feel like it looks more pigmented on this side with the mist. So I just feel like overall things laid better with the side of the mist than with the side with no mist as almost our primer. So as a primer, I definitely do like how this worked. I definitely did see a difference in my complexion. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the wear test, see how this does por todo el día. And for that, I'm going to do again the same thing. I'm gonna be taking my paper towel and I'm just gonna be misting this side so that we can begin this wear test. Like always make sure that you activate the product, you shake it well. This is really going to activate the ingredients in it so that it gives you that long wearing effect and also gives you that dewy finish. So we're gonna spray. Ooh, okay, let's spray. Okay, we sprayed it on this side, I'll see. And then this side, no spray. I will say if you do have oily combination skin like me, maybe spray less, not too many sprays. I feel like the more you spray, the more obvious you're gonna have that dewiness and that hydrate effect. So I would say that depending on what type of complexion you have, spray for that. Um, if you do have more of like dry to normal, then go in and spray a lot more. If you do have more of combination to oily skin, I would say, spray a little less you're still gonna get great results you're just not gonna look as dewy which is something that i would prefer as somebody with oily skin so this is what it's looking like looks super nice on the complexion it just gives a very pretty like almost smoothing finish to the skin and i really love this mist it is such a fine mist which for me a, a good mist is truly chef's kiss um and then on this side with no product i do feel like the complexion looks a little bit more dull it doesn't look as hydrated and almost like glow from within as the side where we went in with the mist let me know if you can tell the difference too so this is with no mist with mist and right now the time is 8 56 in la mañana so we're gonna be wearing this for todo el dia but look let me know your thoughts. I think right now, first impressions, I definitely do see a difference with this product. Um, now, I will let you guys know, this is my second time using this product. I used it once for my short form review. It was more of a quick paste review, but I definitely feel like now that I'm wearing it more and now I know kind of the effects of it, I can kind of tell, you know, what will work best for somebody with oily skin like me. Because I definitely don't think that 
just because you have oily skin, you can't use products like this. I think that it just really depends on how you use it in your routine that's gonna work the best for you. Um, but what I'm really curious to see is how long lasting this will be on the complexion. So that's what I really wanna show you guys. But right now it's looking really nice. Okay, bonitas, as promised, here is my natural lighting clip. So this is the side with the mist. This de lado, like that. And then this is the side without it. Do we see a big difference? For some reason, I feel like this one looks slightly better, like a little smoother than this side. Que piensa? Que bonitas, I am back. It is now, my phone, hello, 11.07 okay. p.m. And this is what the makeup looks like. So this is the side where we went in with the e.l.f. dewy mist. And then this is the side where we didn't apply it. Can we see a big difference? Honestly, no. Nothing too drastic. Honestly, I feel like both sides look pretty good. I mean, we are looking very dewy. I do have oily skin, so just keep that in mind. But I feel like for me personally, as somebody with oily skin, I think this mist works better as like a primer i feel like as a primer my complexion i notice more like of a smoothing effect more of a hydrated effect um and it really made everything work so beautifully together now as a setting spray i'm not really noticing a huge difference between each side um i do feel like this side with the spray looks a little bit dewier so maybe for me or if you do have oily skin i would say Use it as a primer. I think it'll work best as a primer. Um, but I think for my person with dry to normal skin, I think you will like this setting spray because it does give you a really nice dewy effect, which for me, I don't need too much dew. Um, so I just feel like for setting spray, I would probably use something else that would work better for my oily skin. But to prep, I really liked it. I feel like to prep, it really did a beautiful job of giving me really good wear so yeah let me know your thoughts that's pretty much it i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this review and word test if you did please give it a big thumbs up it lets me know to continue doing estos videos para ustedes and that is it so i hope you guys have a fabulous day to first stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful y nos vemos pronto adios bonitas